uh, neuroanatomy let us start with the blood brain barrier now. So guys when you say the word blood brain barrier now what is the first type of cell that comes to your mind when you say blood brain barrier astrocyte astrocyte are the one which forms the blood brain barrier but astrocytes are not the only cell which are forming the blood brain barrier. So if these are the food processes of astrocytes let us say if these are the food processes of astrocytes which is one of the component the another component of the blood brain barrier is the basement membrane of capillary endothelium the basement membrane of capillary endothelium and the tight junction between the capillary endothelium. So, if these are the capillary endotheliums, these capillary endothelium endothelial cells they are connected to each other by tight junctions. tight junction between capillary endothelium. <coughs> so, we have three components for the blood brain barrier the astrocytes, the basement membrane of capillary endothelium and the tight junction, tight junctions are also called as zona occludens. Zona occludens between the capillary endothelium. Now, if the question is asked that what is the true blood brain barrier out of all these three what is the true blood brain barrier. So, it is not the astrocyte it is actually the tight junction between the capillary endothelium this is the true blood brain barrier. So, three components of the blood brain barrier are astrocyte, basement membrane and tight junction between endothelium but the true blood brain barrier is only the tight junction between the capillary endothelium. Now, there are certain regions in the body which are devoid of the blood brain barrier and what are the regions which are devoid of blood brain barrier you can enumerate all those structures in one word we say circumventricular organs they are present in the periphery of ventricle either in the periphery of third ventricle or in the periphery of fourth ventricle that is why we call them circumventricular organs. The areas devoid of blood brain barrier as I said they are called as the circumventricular organs circumventricular organs let me give you a few examples for that the area which are devoid of blood brain barrier are like area post -trima. median eminence subfornical organ the mammillary body the pineal gland OVLT organum vasculosum lamina terminalis organum vasculosum lamina terminalis <coughs> area post media eminence subfornical organ 
mammillary body, pineal gland and organum vasculosum lamina terminalis. Now, these are the certain areas which are devoid of the blood brain barrier, not the only one and we will keep uh, coming across these structures as we go deep into the neuroanatomy. Now, talking of the devoids, there are certain areas in the brain which are devoid of the nociceptive fibers or pain fibers. So, let us have a list of the structures which are devoid of pain fibers. So, the areas which are devoid of pain fibers So, let me enumerate, enumerate the areas which are devoid of pain fibers. You can remember them as bed pack, the area which are divided of the blood brain, uh, this one, the pain fibers or nociceptive fibers, you can remember them as bed pack. B represents the brain parenchyma, E is ependyma. D dura mater. Pia matter, arachnoid matter, and choroid plexus. Brain parenchyma, ependyma, the ventricular lining that is ependyma, <coughs> the dura matter, the pia matter, arachnoid matter, and choroid plexus. So, these are the areas which are devoid of the pain fibers. Now, the question is how can dura matter be devoid of pain fibers? I mean the pain of meningitis is elicited from the dura matter only and we yesterday only uh, we talked about the uh, dura matter, the nerve supply. So, dura matter is extensively supplied by the nerve, how can it be the devoid of pain fiber? The dura matter, only that part of the dura matter which is not forming any dural venous sinus or covering any blood vessel is devoid of pain fiber. Not covering any blood vessel or forming dural venous sinus. So, only that part of the dura matter which is not covering any blood vessel or forming the dural venous sinus is devoid of pain fibers. Thank <laughs> you.